Pitch it may be the most impressive video of the day so far shows what appears to be a tornado forming on the Ohio River. Look at that. Donald Jackson sharing that video with us here late tonight. And that was this afternoon, but now all of the tri state is under a tornado watch, so we are not out of the woods just yet. Let's go over to Chief Meteorologist Steve Raleigh for the latest. Well, here are all our cameras up behind me and are uh, across the tri state. Look at Fort Washington Way. Very hard to see there. And as we look at the cameras individually, they're all pointed westward where most of the storm are coming from and you'll see the lightning pops in the little boxes that are going on. Saw a few up there in Mason. You'll notice the sheets of rain in Cincinnati. Also Covington's kind of obscured some rain over in Westwood as well and the temperature is very warm and we still have several hours of thunderstorms to go across the tri state. Let's take a look at where we stand right now. A tornado watch is now out for the entire tri state. Essentially folks in northern Kentucky now or they've got a watch out. You folks have got the watch out until 4 a.m. Around the greater Cincinnati area and north, it's till midnight. We'll see if that gets extended. Now, you'll also notice down here out by VV once again, there is a severe thunderstorm warning. The storm is out here by Carrollton. It's going to move out to the northeast. It's moving at about 40 or 45 miles an hour. So we're talking about a pretty intense storm with winds gusting to 60 miles an hour. Here are some current temperatures now, some rain cooled temperatures in fact, and you'll see we're running from 59 to about 70 degrees. Here's the entire watch out across the tri-state, and as I mentioned, if you're in northern Kentucky, chances are your watch is out until 4 o'clock. Here's the downtown camera, and you can see the winds blowing the rain around. We're looking right down Fort Washington Way, and if you've been with us before you know how this perspective looks but the thunderstorms are right over downtown we're going to continue to see this for several hours around the four o'clock hour things are going to diminish and we're going to end up seeing just some chances for showers guys we're back with more in just a couple of minutes thank you steve and some of the most dramatic damage is at campgrounds along the river especially near vv in brooksburg wcpo 9 news reporter jessica hart in the nine first warning live drive for us now jessica these storms as we've seen popped up again where you are what are you seeing yeah evan and jasmine we've seen a flurry of lightning activity here in southeast indiana i'm going to turn the camera around just to show you what we're seeing we're also getting some heavy rain in this area now this campground site we were at for hours today it was confirmed that there was a radar confirmed tornado in the area. We even talked with one man who said he saw the tornado. Take a look at some of the damage that was on the campground. This is video our Sky 9 drone camera captured. Some of the trailers from the campground ended up here in this pond. These campers were completely destroyed. One is in a tree. I talked with one woman who tells me she believes the camper in the middle of this pond is her mother's. This is her mother's deck that was completely destroyed. Several of the people who own campers here tell me this used to be a big barn that is now nothing but a pile of rubble. Across the street, some of the debris from the campers closer to the river made its way to this field and got caught in the tree line. The man who lives inside this home didn't want to talk on camera, but he told me he saw a tornado crossing the street. He says part of his roof caved in and his shed in the back was destroyed. He tells me the container you see in his front yard rolled 16 times to land there. In his yard, there's actually grooves in the ground where you can see where that container rolled 16 times. Now, many of the people who are on this campground have been there for years, and they tell me they've never seen destruction like this in the area. Some of them, and actually many of them, don't even live close. They live two and a half, three hours away. So once they heard there was a tornado possibly in the area, they drove straight here to check out their damage. Some of them plan to be back on Saturday to start the cleanup. Reporting in Live Drive, Jessica Hart, WCBO 9 News. Thank you, Jessica. Stay safe out there. So another hard hit area was across the river in Milton. This video showing you just some of the damage there. WCPO 9 News reporter Sean Delancey shows the rush to start cleanup before tonight's other threats. Cleanup is now underway after Trimble County Emergency Management say that Milton, Kentucky took a direct hit from a tornado that left behind piles of debris just like these. This is a fence from somebody's front yard. This is a roof right behind me and there's chunks of debris like this spread over the 
better part of a five mile stretch. We toured the damage along US 36 outside of Milton. Look at that tree over there. Yeah. The sucker is huge. Some rode out the storm and small campers, very similar to this one that's been flipped over. I can't believe it's still here. Me neither. When Jeremiah Houston came out of his far from safe place, he saw the damage all around. The winds taking off roofs and punching holes in walls. And we were hanging on and it was like, the thing was uh, jiggling. It was like hovering in the air and jiggling like I don't know why we're everything but upside down. Then we met James Ashton, who showed me around his mobile home. He says he held the door closed as trees crashed down around him. I just wondered if I was going to end up down there on the highway or not. I mean, what do you, what do you go through your head in a moment like that? Where it's, hey, there ain't nothing you can do. But it's going to get you, it's going to get you. There ain't nowhere to go here. We weren't expecting this at all. Andrew Stark, Trimble County's emergency manager, says the storm knocked out power for the whole county, but miraculously, no one died and only two people were injured. Now it's time to rebuild together. I've had literally 20, 30 people to call me for, all the way from Louisville to ask me, you know, do you all need help with anything? So I certainly expect for them to come together. Now on that note, Stark says that if you're not coming here to help, stay away. He says anyone coming to just look at the damage makes it a lot harder on emergency crews who are here to work. In Milton, I'm Sean Delancey, WCPO 9 News. And this severe weather round two certainly also making it hard for them to work right now. Steve keeps tracking those storms. We'll keep eyes on things too. Tonight's a good one to make sure you're getting alerts from that WCPO 9 News app and full coverage is up on WCPO.com.